Hello and welcome to the Mohit Show. General News. April 1st, 2021. I will be covering a few notable stories of the day. First, from Newsweek. Chinese propaganda is warning Japan against siding with the United States over the defense of Taiwan. Considering China and Japan have had horrible relations for longer than anyone has been alive, I do not believe this will have much effect on Japan. Also, from Newsweek. The Chinese military is preparing for U.S. intervention in the Taiwan Strait. Next, from The Guardian. Brazil has entered a precarious posi position after three military chiefs resign in response to Bolsonaro firing a defense minister. Brazil is already facing a worsening coronavirus crisis, among the worst in the world. In other news, BBC's China correspondent moves to the rightful Republic of China. This is in response to worsening censorship from the Chinese Communist Party. Next, from Reuters, Taiwan is buying new air defense missiles from the U.S. to guard against China. Next, from CBS, the U.S. is watching as the Russian military is mobilizing armed forces towards Crimea. From the Express, Russia is moving tanks and missiles to the border. Additionally, from the official NATO website, NATO jets are intercepting unusual activity from Russian warplanes. Next, from the Inquirer, China is deflecting questions as the WHO chief revives the lab leak theory of the coronavirus pandemic. As a reminder, the Wuhan Institute of Virology has been handling animal-borne coronaviruses. They have had safety issues in the past, and the virus could have easily escaped from the lab even if it was not intentional. Next, from Reuters, the Philippines is saying that the swarm of Chinese maritime militia illegally occupying Philippine marine space has expanded their reach. Now, from the Hill, a recent Harvard poll has found that 64% of Americans view cancel culture as a threat to their freedom. Only 13% of Americans believe cancel culture is not a problem. Do not let your concern be cancelled. This is an issue that must be addressed. In other news from Law Officer, a recent perpetrator of anti-Asian violence has been found to be an avid BLM activist. His social media was full of anti-Trump messaging. As you can clearly see, white supremacy and the right wing are, are obviously the problem here. In economics, from Fox Business, oil prices have risen 40% during the Biden administration. They show no signs of stopping. Next, from the Washington Times, it is nearing three weeks since Texas has lifted its mask mandate, and cases and hospitalizations are still continually decreasing. In climate news, from the Smithsonian, the Amazon rainforest is now emitting more greenhouse gases than it is absorbing. This is due to Brazil's policies on the forest. From the Independent, China is warning the U.S. over a red line after an American ambassador makes the first visit to Taiwan after 42 years. China crossed the red line when they started committing genocide on the Uyghur ethnic minority. In the Middle East, Lebanon is on the brink of a hunger crisis as their government approaches a failed state. Next, from Reuters, African swine fever 
has killed at least 20% of North China's breeding herd of pigs. This is similar to the previous swine fever, which killed half of all pigs in some places. Next, Yemen is saying they have launched drone attacks on the capital of Saudi Arabia. No word from Saudi Arabia yet. Next, from Apple Daily, Cardinals are showing discontent over the Catholic Church's silence on the matters of Hong Kong. Cardinal Zen says, Doesn't the Bible say we should always speak the truth? In more concerning news, Iran now has new underground uranium enrichment machines. From MarketWatch, a gang of Lego thieves from Poland have been arrested in Paris. Lastly, from South China Morning Post, a Chinese zoo was caught attempting to pass off a golden retriever as a lion. Thankfully, they quickly solved the problem and placed the lion in the small and incredibly unethical cage. That's all for today. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more daily news. These videos need any help they can get in the algorithm. My sources are linked below. This has been the news.